Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. My name is Jason, the creator of I Am Legion for Dying Light 1 and 2, and thank you so much for your support. Uh, I truly appreciate everything that the Patreon community has done for me. Thank you guys so much for jumping on and offering your feedback, helping donate to this cause, and continuing to grow the community and also offer your uh, support for what has been a year-long effort to bring new content and new exciting gameplay into the game. Thank you so much for this. I really appreciate it, and I look forward to talking to each one of you on the Discord community. I apologize that this wasn't done sooner. I've been super busy trying to get through the code and also all these crazy things uh, going on in my life, but I really appreciate everything that you guys have done. You've stuck with me. You've bared with. I know things are still getting up and running uh, for this site uh, and getting these tiers set up along with this custom content. Thank you for your donations and continuing to uh, support this effort. So I wanted to go through and do a quick video showing how these three tiers of the Patreon break down, what is offered between the three tiers, and then also a very quick rundown on how to install this custom content into your game and how to use it. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'm gonna switch my camera over to where we can see the screen. Great. So the first thing I have up is the actual Patreon website. So from here, you should be able to find the three tiers uh, for each support group. Uh, basically what this does is I've broken this down to where uh, the idea is is that if you're a casual Patreon you can still support the mod you know it doesn't it's not a huge amount of contribution I do truly appreciate it and the idea here is is that I'm offering as much early content as possible while also trying to create custom content for the ultimate Patreons and the survivor Patreons I truly appreciate the support that you are offering Thank you guys so much for installing this content as I continue to do updates for each one of these. Just know that I'm continuing to create custom content specific to each tier. So every tier should receive new content each update. Nothing's being held out or held from you as much as custom content is being created for the other tiers as well. And as you support the different tiers, you'll receive that custom content. So for this latest version of the casual Patreon, I have gone through and I'm gonna to continue to update this description to truly outline what the each tier is doing and so you kind of understand what you're unlocking with each one. So uh, thank you again for bearing with me as this process has been refined. Uh, and so for this latest example for 1.3e, uh, it's the overhaul for the bows and the crossbows. Basically, uh, everything has been set up to where you still get immediate access to these new custom bows. So you get access to 26 new bows immediately uh, through your stash. You get access to 21 one new custom bows through your stash and each one of those are either a uh, modified out of the three different play styles each one is a different condition uh, and you can get the highest tier of several conditions what is not available is the legendary tiers you can find these in the world but these are not available through the immediate bundle uh, the other content that's been provided, basically you're getting access to all the same content outside of the very custom content that is related to the legendary tier items and then the Easter egg um, custom objects that are found inside the game. The ultimate tiers do get the most access to the most information because that is, you know, I'm trying to offer that, that up to say thank you um, to all the ultimate survivors and the survivors uh, as well. So thank you guys so much for that. And uh, for this next one, we're gonna move down to the survivor patreon for the survivor patreon uh, as an example you guys now get access to 52 new custom bows immediately 36 new custom crossbows the only thing that's held off on this tier is that you're not getting access to four custom actually i'm sorry i apologize several new tiers of legendary crossbows that can be found throughout the world uh, and bows, but you still get access to 52 of those new custom bows and 36 of the new custom crossbows. 
In addition, the Ultimate Patreons, as I mentioned earlier, they're getting access to the Easter egg content, the new custom bows, and pretty much anything that I have available, any early access information, I try to put out onto the Ultimate Patreon so that you guys can mix and match. This is also, each one of these tiers and the content you would like to see is completely something that I am expecting your feedback on. If you have ideas for custom content you'd like to see in the future, if you have access or ideas for access that you would like to current content inside the game, please post that on the Patreon site, post it on the Discord channel. Let me know what your ideas are. I wanna to continue to support you guys. Also, in addition, once you join the Patreon, uh, make sure to reach out to me through the Discord. If you're part of the Discord community, make sure to reach out to me with your name so that way I can properly sort you into the different categories there on the Discord so that you can be a member of our community on the Discord. So let me go ahead and explain the auto updater as well. So there is an auto updater that's been included as part of the Patreon. The idea here was is that I haven't updated it in a little while. It does still work, but it gives a generic error. And the reason for that is that originally when I created the auto updater, uh, it basically was looking for a single name of an, of an installation or an installer. And over time, it's basically, I've, I've started labeling and giving the versions to the installer so that it's easier for everybody to see what version of the game they have. So because of that, or due to that, it's now requiring you uh, to basically, or it's giving an error saying that it's unable to launch uh, the application. This just is where it's not finding the file name. It's still downloading all the relevant files, so you can still use it. I just haven't opened that project back up and started to recompile that software, and I actually have not started looking at the code to feed in the version ID, so I'm gonna have to create a new correlation between the version ID and the download so that that automatically opens. So I'm still looking into that. I will get back to you when I have that update. You can still use that file for now. So depending on which tier you are, each one has its own available download. Let me go through the install process for that content. So let's go ahead and get the ultimate Patreon. We'll go ahead and install this to the desktop or download it to the desktop and I'm gonna minimize this down. So we have these two zips. One is the auto update, one is the custom content. So the auto updater is your way to get the latest and the greatest version of the mod without having to go on the Nexus. So you wanna jump in, you saw on the Discord, I, I announced that we have a new version. I've hot fixed some bugs. You don't wanna to have to jump on the Nexus. So you create a folder somewhere. So you can just create this folder you know, anywhere on your system and just leave that alone, have it in there uh, for whenever you need it. You do have to make sure that you install the prerequisite um, before downloading. Uh, but if you've done that, we'll go ahead and run the auto updater. This is safe to run. I apologize that each one of those things shows up like that, but that's just how it does it. So it's gonna go ahead and grab that latest version. So it sees the latest version online. It's downloading this. And the last time I started doing this process, the downloads were much faster than the Nexus. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised that that hasn't finished already. Um, so I'll continue to test the speeds and make sure those speeds are working as expected, but it should download the latest and the greatest version of the application. There we go. And then you're gonna get this error. It basically, that's my auto launch process is not able to complete. But if you go in here to the folder, you'll see that this has, downloaded the latest and greatest installer. Uh, and so from here, you're ready to go. Uh, if in the future, you know, you want to just quickly check to see if there's anything new, you can just run this again. It'll check for the uh, updates and it'll let you know you're updated, you're good to go. So that's for the auto updater. If you've already installed, if you've already pulled it from the Nexus, that's kind of an extra step. But I will go ahead and mention something specific because I know that this is going to be a big one coming up for you guys. Um, so if we go in here, we launch the installer. I'm going to keep spreading this word everywhere on every video going forward. But underneath here, I have gone in and please make sure to read through the notes. Um, I am trying to add as many notes as possible to this uh, readme. But next, there's a new column. It is for the new custom locations on the map. 
So currently that only includes a makeover for the bazaar. Um, so I'm continuing to go location by location where it makes sense and continuing to drive forward that content. I have started to notice issues with like frame rate loss. There's some issues with like in the distance, it's no longer setting up its LOD properly. Um, and so because of that, there, I'm trying to nitpick what I replace on the map and kind of purposefully go through the content. But once the roadmap comes out, you guys will see some of that vision and what I have in store for that. But I did want to point out that if you do want that new custom content, you do have to check that data five. Once you do that, that's available to everyone. But please be aware of that as my Patreon supporters. I appreciate um, that, that support there. So... We're gonna go ahead and hit next there. Once the mod is installed, uh, this is where we're at right now here on the desktop. So I wanted to point you over to this next step. So once we have this I am Legion install path, that's where you can open this folder. And this is one of the reasons that I've included this so you can install more content immediately into your game. Shortcut makes it faster. So we're gonna go into PH source. And then in here, you'll see that I already have a data for, but if we go to this Patreon content and open that up, we have this new data for. We'll go ahead and drag that in and hit replace. And we now have the data for. So with this latest version of the installer, if you've chosen to get the new map content, you should now have a uh, data two, data four, and data five. If you've done a language pack, then you'll have a data two, data three, data four, and data five. So continuing to look at ways that I can compile on runtime so that we're not getting so many different data files. I would love to try to make this a single all in one data two, data three only, but as it gets more complex, as we have more content, it's continuing to grow and expand. So I'm just getting, I'm continuing to look for my options here, but please bear with me. So once that's installed, we can go ahead and launch the game. You have a shortcut that's been added to your desktop as well, so you can just run that if you don't wanna run through Steam. And we're gonna go ahead and wait for this to load up and I'll go ahead and explain. So I currently have been experiencing some technical difficulties uh, with the streaming. So I use the Streamlabs desktop and lately I've been having some issues with, oh, well, it looks like it didn't get the Steam application. I guess it did the second time. Um, so I've been having some issues with the streaming and uh, recording video. So I do apologize if there's any frame loss here, if there's any audio crackling, please bear with me. I'm continuing to look into that solution to figure out how we can eliminate that. So let's go ahead and launch in. And this will work. So some of the, one of the more common questions that I get, you know, is can I use, do I have to have a new game to use this content? Absolutely not. This is meant to be very topical to your main game. Uh, the only thing I would recommend is backing up your saves um, before installing the mod. Um, that way you have a return to point. Outside of that, um, it's fairly safe outside of running this mod when there's an official update. So if there's an official update, please give me long enough to patch that out um, before attempting to play unless you've done a backup. If you've done a backup of your save game, uh, then it shouldn't be that much of an issue. So some of the new content should now be in the game. Hopefully you guys enjoy some of the new stuff that I've added to the world. Um, but let's go ahead and head over to our stash and let me explain where some of the stuff is located. So lots of new bows, lots of new crossbows, improvements to the flamethrowers, lots of great content on this new update. I hope you guys enjoy. So for each one of these, you'll have access to, uh, if you're an ultimate Patreon, you'll have access to the most icons here. I do apologize if it's getting very cluttered. Uh, I, I don't actually know a better way to bring this many items, it's hundreds of new items into the game uh, without some form of organization here. So I do apologize for that. Still continuing to look into that. 
Um, but just as I mentioned, continue to bear with me there. Uh, I am looking for a better solution. So we do have a couple of different Easter egg contents that are immediately available if you have the Ultra Ultimate Patreon. This includes outfits and different uh, things that I found in the game. So anytime I find something, I try to add it to this list. Uh, next is going to be the World Burner Bundle. Uh, anytime you go in here and, and redeem these, basically this is what it's going to look like. If you hit redeem, say yes, I want to redeem it. It'll go ahead and give you these icons on the side here. And if we go back to inventory, those items should show up in your inventory. I know one of the biggest ones is the trader. So let's go through really quickly how to get the trader summoned. Um, basically, you shouldn't have to do that as often now because of the bizarre updates, but this is always nice to have a trader on the go. So you notice there's that plus zero there that's confused a lot of people. That's not a problem. Go back to inventory, scroll down, and you'll see here in accessories is that actual summon trader. We'll go ahead and add that to our um, inventory and I'll come back to that once we actually get out of here. And then for any one of the different uh, companions, so essentially the content you're seeing here is a combination of the free content that's available to everyone and then also the content that's been unlocked to you as a Patreon supporter. So as you go down, you will see additional icons that the standard uh, player will not see. So for example, if we want all of the companions, we can go here to the companion bundle. And that will go ahead and give us a large amount of companions that we can take with us here so you can go through and read what each one does and go ahead and add those to your inventory so that we can uh, summon them later. So we'll go ahead and take a few of the different companions. Next, we have some of the custom characters. So if you go ahead and redeem these two, there's two different ones. Uh, basically, I have tiers here. So one is for the top tier, the legendary custom characters. If you're an ultimate Patreon supporter, then you've unlocked the, custom, the legendary custom characters. If you're anyone else, then you've done the story characters. Um, I do believe that I actually have removed these for casual survivors. Uh, or casual Patreons, please let me know. I'm gonna continue to try to look for a way that we can create new content specific for you guys. Uh, currently, that uh, name system is a little faulty there, but it will go through and it'll unlock all those characters. And the idea here is that if you then scroll down, you will then have new uh, icons down below in your outfits. Each one of these will allow you to play as a new character. There's an issue with the naming system for these, and so I still don't have appropriate names for these. I do apologize. The male skeletons are male legendary characters, and the female skeletons are the female legendary characters. Let me go ahead and explain what this does. If you go ahead and select any one of these, so we'll go ahead and equip one of these, and we'll go ahead and close. If I go back and press I, and then I gotta take off my face mask. You can see that this is basically an infected version uh, of uh, Aiden. If you open this back up, we can go back in and there should be some more in here. Let's grab one of the female characters. So you can see that you can just simply change your character. If you press X, it will cycle between those custom characters uh, and they should have custom uh, outfits as well. So custom hands and all of that information should change uh, when you're updating that information. Okay, let's go back in. Additionally, we now have the new crossbow bundles. So just know that if it's one that says, thank you for your support, um, then please know uh, that some of them are starter bundles um, meant for the general public and then some are specific uh, to you, the Patreon supporter. What I've tried to do is make it to where if it's part of the um, early starter kit, then I'm now labeling it as starter bundles. You can see the names are not still fully updated. I'm still going through and updating each one of the names uh, in that system but then also some of these uh, kind of give away whether or not that they are for the Patreon supporters. So for example, with this one, it says it contains 
all the basic crossbows added by I Am Legion Reborn. If you go down below that, here's the legendary bow bundle. Uh, it also explains that. And so as you go through and highlight those, it should give you a good breakdown of what they do specific. So for example, this item will allow you to play with all the Volatile Tyrant uh, content. So let's go ahead and unlock that. Matter of fact, that's a good test because uh, I know that there was an issue previously with that costume uh, or that outfit not working properly. So basically we have the actual armor and then we have the actual consumable and then we also have Volatile Spit and we should have a weapon as well. And that needs to be updated to be a legendary item. I apologize that that's not legendary item. But now when we scroll down to our outfits, you can see that we now have the volatile there as well. And so if we go back in and we press X, you can see that this is our, looks like the face has gotten messed up. It's interesting. Looks like uh, that skin has been messed up. But if you go in and you equip the helmet, this is what your character is supposed to look like. Um, so you do have to have the armor equipped as well to receive all of the benefits. So for the volatile specific, if we are uh, the tyrant specific, if we go and equip that, you will now glow in the dark and you have the blood red skin. Let's see if the feet work. Yes, correct. And this is what you should look like as the Volatile Tyrant skin. I still love that one. Going back into the content really quick, just making sure that we're staying on task here. There's also the Paraglider Restore Bundle. Uh, that's basically if you're having any issues with your Paraglider, please try to run this. Um, uh, we've had a couple of issues in the past. I'm still trying to figure out what might be causing that across the different systems. Um, but I think we're getting a little bit closer. There's also the base building content. So when you open this, it contains all the items uh, for building the bases that's currently available, such as the stashes uh, and the different UV lamps. So we'll go ahead and grab some UV lamps. And then we can also grab a couple of the spike barrels or you know whatever else we would like to do. So the safe zone. Um, and then we'll also grab a storage kit. And as you go through here, as you start to scroll down, you'll get to more of the armors. So for the armor system, uh, basically the legendary armor is set up to where the legendary armor is unlocked at ultimate level and some of it is unlocked at survival survivor level. Um, I have left that to be discovered if you're a casual supporter. And so as you go through, you will, if you're a casual supporter, you will not see all of these items. You'll see a limited amount of these items. But for each one of these, I've tried to curate a, a selection of the items so that each tier has access to very specific numbers of the items. We also have the actual spawn testing bundle. So I apologize for some of the names. I'm continuing to update those. The spawn testing bundle is where you are able to spawn the different NPCs throughout the world. So if you want to be able to spawn renegades, if you want to be able to spawn uh, the other different uh, factions, I think some of them dropped there, ran out of inventory space. So now that I've maxed out my inventory here, um, please just know that there's a lot of content here. I am trying to go through and actually properly name every single bundle. There's a lot of great stuff in here. Please make sure to review and go through each one and kind of see what I've provided in there. If you have questions or concerns, if you would like to see more content as I've mentioned before, please reach out to me. Please reach out through the Discord. Please reach out through the Patreon. I want to continue to support uh, the different things that interest you guys and bring you guys to the game and continue to get some of these new cool things into the game for you guys. So that being done, let's actually go check out some of this content and start a little bit of a war outside the base. So this version contains the updated version of the map. So this has the data five, so that's included. 
And if we go up here, you can see that we now have a good way to look down on the plate on the outside of the wall without worrying about that bob wire. And you can see, I do apologize. I see where the frame are looking pretty off over there. Again, I apologize that that is the that issue uh, solved. So let's go ahead and get uh, a couple of things started here. So let's go ahead and get a pack of wolves. And then let's get the kernels. And then also let's grab, I think I forgot to grab the PK there, so we don't have those. And then also let me show you guys the UV lights and the trader. So with the new fortifications to the base, I am continuing to update this and see how I can go and expand this world. We have a new outpost that's further out that allows the bowmen to shoot down into the valley here. So at night, they become uh, very handy. There's also UV lights that have been walls as well. Um, Um, but let's go ahead and Fuck me. You always complain. This might glitch. Uh, it's over a little bit. But so now we should have this tier four light right there. Right here. It's a little large. Begin tonight, you'll see that we should have some good coverage here. Let's create it here so we've got the base. It happens. So you can see now that he gives access to all the new custom content, so he's got a couple of custom things for us here. They basically go into the threatening this act of AI a little bit better. Um, currently, they do have this uh, since they hide until something activates their eye. When using this spawn method, you may get somewhere. There we go. So activate it and get the kernel out here as well. Our good war here. All right, and then let's go ahead and switch it to night. So actually, I think I should be able to just use my base here. So let's go ahead and set up a mobile base and a mobile kit. I'm still working on this idea of establishing. You can see here that our UV lights are working great. Got a little spawn out there. But night's gotten a lot more dangerous. Additionally, there is currently a glitch with installing this newer uh, content. Uh, it's basically disabled some of that dynamic spawner on the inside. And so to fix this, you have to put out UV lights. 
So that's kind of a new mini quest that I'm working on there is actually setting this up to where, you know, before sleeping and basically setting up your base, you're able to go and establish some UV lights inside this base uh, to help prevent uh, these guys from spawning. But let's go ahead and start. Okay. And you can see here, once we start this uh, actual chase, we should get a good amount of guys popping up right here outside the base. And this has been kind of fun with these new added uh, updates. Is that you basically have this back wall um, which is fun for the defensive uh, different crossbows and everything is this idea that you could actually fire outside the base and actually defend the base going forward um, and then as you need to duck from the uh, the different incoming fire you can kind of duck down behind that wall But I've actually really, really enjoyed your interaction because they, they want to, they'll all kind of stack up right here outside of the base and then they'll go a little ways away. So this is going to be really good too for using the config because you can say on chase activation you can actually have anomalies spawn as well. So if you wanted the base to be attacked by different anomalies you could. Let's go really quick here and set up our Let's see, is this the storage pit? Let's go meet them head on. Again, I apologize for that frame rate over there. I'm sure it's uh, not as smooth of a ride there, but I hope you guys are enjoying. This is the world burner. Uh, really does exactly that now. So it is a very OP flamethrower. That lower tiers, they just don't stand a chance. base here I'm still and I still have that bug um, sadly where it causes the flame to really jet out front um, still looking for a solution but, uh, so that's still in the game so, so if we want to go ahead and clear this out and end of the concert between uh, our, our data of being able to defend the base and I'm continuing to look for fun ways to kind of bring this environment to life um, so that you can do kind of quick escapes uh, 